Hello, it is Friday, April 5th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday crossword today, which means we're going to be solving the uh, first of two themeless puzzles for the week. And um, it might be a bit tricky, might have some misdirection. And this uh, themeless, potentially misdirecting edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Victoria Rojishka, Kathleen Quinn, Quotidia File, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They are, of course, patri- patrons of the uh, Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they support this channel. They keep this whole thing going day in, day out. For that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to those four, and thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel. If you'd like to join the ranks of those who are, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the description field link. You'll find there, of course, all the bonus videos available to patrons. Today, I um, uh, I think I'll have time today to do the weekly daily uh, weekly mini puzzle, Pseudo Speed Solve. So look forward to that if you're a patron and you enjoy those videos. And uh, all the rest are up there as well. Thank you again to everybody who backs the channel. And thanks as well if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That's a big help. Consider doing so if you enjoy these videos. And also if you enjoy them, why not give them a like, an occasional comment, and so on. And finally, there is the Daily Solve Discord chat server you can join. A nice friendly chat community with a link in the description field. All right, let's get on to today's crossword by Rebecca Goldstein, who's uh, contributed around a dozen puzzles for the New York Times. And uh, it was edited once again by Joel Faliano. Let's start solving. In reserve, if something is in reserve, it's kept or it's behind or it's saved. I don't know if say, I saved fits in five letters, but I don't really like it as an answer. Uh, Meredith, who reprised her Tony nominated role in the 2021 film adaptation of In the Heights. I don't know this, unfortunately. High point could be Acme or um, Peak or something. It does have a question mark. I wonder what that means high point could be something i mean i guess it could be something drugs related i don't know too too open-ended this often happens on fridays just you feel you could be misdirected in any number of ways and you're not sure which it is um basilica site an apps maybe the official um the official sort of clerical architectural element of the new york times crossword um i don't really think you'd call an apps a site necessarily it's not something that you'd see and remark upon. Oh, look, there's the apps. So probably not. I don't know. They bring up the rear. Um, B teamers would fit. Don't really have very much confidence that that's correct. They bring up the rear. Probably ends in S. Does that help with this? No, not really, because this is also plural. Some GIF reactions. Lols, maybe? I guess we're solving down here now. Let's look at this and find out. Turn on an axis. To slew is to turn on an axis, to kind of rotate around. To, to... I do know that word for that particular meaning. It's not a word. It's sort of one of those words that's in my passive rather than active vocabulary. It's not one I would use in a sentence day to day. Um, but I think it's probably right, given that L. Dance party where participants wear wireless headphones. Right. Okay, that's a new concept to me, I think. Um, I mean, my first thought with the S is stereo something, but that feels like too dated a word to be used in this kind of context. Because wireless headphones means it'll be something that was fairly recent. It wouldn't have developed during the, you know, the Walkman era, for instance. And I guess couldn't have. Uh, word shouted before Feliz Ano Año Nuevo. Uh, uno, just A a happy new year it could be oh no 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 that's not no that's funny i was right for the completely wrong i was thinking of sort of have a but it's not even what it is feliz i don't know i was thinking of sort of have a happy new year and i don't think i was thinking about it properly but i think it's actually the answer because you would count down (laughs) It's a reverse countdown. And then and then you say Happy New Year after counting from 10 down to 1, or in this case, Uno. That's funny. Okay, well, there we go. Liveliness. Um, Eclat? No, it's not long enough. Elan is also not long enough. Elation? Liveliness? No. Um, I don't know. 
All oh, right, the dance party. Still don't know about that. Most with the oh, the lion's share. Yeah, that looks right. That Owen was very helpful. Question for the naysayers. Don't know. Dog with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Lassie. Yeah, Lassie would have had a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame because of the success of the show Lassie, which I don't think I've ever actually seen. Question for the naysayers. So what is this? All or nothing? That doesn't really mean anything. Doesn't fit anyway. Well, what I mean when I say doesn't mean anything, doesn't mean anything with respect to this clue. I don't think. As. Question for the naysayers. All of you or no? Hmm, I'm not sure. I do see some, this one that I do know, though. Song, songwriter um, Brickell. I don't know if I know any of her songs, but I've heard of Edie Brickell. I may not even be pronouncing her name properly, but um, but I, I'm pretty sure it's the answer. Island East of Bali, Timor. Uh, quick chats, IMs, instant messages. There we go. So here's another fruitful area. Sounds of heartbreak could be sobs. Someone's Heart is broken and they're crying, they're sobbing. Snaps. Um, something biscuits, like a ginger snap. So sort of a cookie, a biscuit. I don't know. I don't think that's right. Oh. Dance party where participants wear wireless headphones. Silent disco. I think I have heard this phrase. I might even have seen it in the crossword. Maybe not. I want... I'm not sure about that, but I certainly have seen this concept referenced before. Um, so there we have it. That'll be what it is. What an interesting concept. I wonder what the specific function of that is. I mean, obviously I get it in general, but what do you specifically get from that that you wouldn't get from a more traditional method of playing music? I'm curious. I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there are things that I have, that have not occurred to me in the last three seconds. Um, retail focused channel, uh, HSN home shopping network. I guess one funny thing about this <laughs> is everyone could set their own volume. You know, one of the things about, um, being in a, in a, in an environment where loud music is playing is that it's kind of equally loud for everybody. I guess in theory, you could have yours at a reasonable listening volume and it would still be fine. Anyway, uh, resistance figure, ohm. Ohm is a unit of resistance. There we go. They bring up the rear. Noses. Cabooses, as in the last car in a train. There we go. Okay. In reserve. Yeah, still don't. Cash? No, that doesn't fit. Volleyball doubles. L's. There are two... There, oops, there are multiple doubles of the letter L in the word volleyball. So there are two doubles, a double-double. And here we have blank Mundi. Oh, what is Ordo, Ordo Mundi? This is something, this is something like the kind of rule over the world. It's associated with the Catholic Church. Oh boy, what am I misre misremembering something about this? I think this is right, or I think at least it is possible that it's right, but I'm not, I'm not certain, and I'm not even sure that I'm remembering it correctly. High point, basilica site, yeah, I don't know. Hmm, how confident am I, am I in this? Do I leave it, or do I, maybe I don't leave it for now, because I'm just, I'm not sure about any of these, and I'm worried about deceiving myself down the line. Daring, risky maybe, as in a daring maneuver, a risky, risky maneuver. Go all in for a gag. Something it to go all in for a gang. Gag. Something to, I want to see if that works with this. Snaps. Oh, goes bananas. If someone, you could say, oh, wow, they snapped. They went bananas. There we go. Okay, that, that could well be the answer. Let's, let's look at the crosses. Doctors with good gut instincts. Gastro, uh... GIs, gastrointestinal doctors. 
I think that's right. Gastrointestinal is certainly, I mean, it's certainly a word relating to this concept. So maybe that's what it is. Liveliness. Oh, esprit. There we go. There's another synonym of the sort of sorts of words I was saying that actually fits. Okay, so to go on to a gag is to something it to the end, to sort of take it to the end, to to the sky? I don't know. Lurker in international waters. Something shark? No. Lurker in international waters. A sea... Red blank Western comic. Red... Rider? Oh, a spy? Yeah, it is that. Um, this is a spy ship. I, and I've seen... I've never... Uh, read this, but I've, I've I've seen the phrase at least Red Rider spelled this way. I don't exactly know what is this someone's name, presumably. I don't know, <laughs> um, but I have I've seen it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the answer. Okay, question for the naysayers. All oh, all opposed. Oh, that's interesting. That's a that's a very well crafted clue because it is it's very misdirecting, but it's it's a clever way to point to the actual concept in question. So it's question for the naysayers, all opposed. You're literally asking the naysayers to respond, to represent themselves. Um, that's very clever. Whereas when I read this, I was thinking it's a question you would ask to the naysayers. You know, you'd ask them, why are you against this or something? But nope, that's not what it is. That's very good. Blank have guessed. Who'd have guessed? You might ask. Who'd have guessed this was going to be all opposed? Not I until very recently. Telescope named for the second administrator of NASA. Webb? I think there's a Webb telescope. So maybe that was the name of NASA's second administrator. Blue skies, so to speak, are ease. Yes, if you perform a task with ease, you could say, oh, it was blue. It was all blue skies. It was all ease. Blank bear, folklore character, brer bear. So brer bear, brer rabbit. Those are part of a particular American folklore tradition. And then crash pad, uh, your bed. It's your the pad physically on which you crash, you fall asleep. Okay, ramen topping. Um, my first thought is enoki mushrooms, the distinctive Japanese mushrooms you could serve with ramen. Um, it could be other things. Pointless, something pointless could be inane maybe, or yeah, that's my best guess. Breeding spots for mayflies and dragonflies are... Well, if this is an O for Enoki, then breeding supplies for mayflies and dragonflies could be ponds, maybe? I actually don't know if that's true, but it sounds plausible. Let's try it and see. Check. I don't know. Helter Skelter. So if something was happening, Helter Skelter was happening in a, in a frantic and uh, extreme manner. It was end over end? If you're sort of tumbling down a hill, maybe? I'm not sure if that's plausible. Period of sustained success. A golden age. Oh, what was this? Oh, this was that gag thing. I still don't know what that is. Okay, let's try Enoki then and see if that helps. Cardigan, e.g. knit. A knit sweater, for instance. So check. Test. Oh, right. To check something is to test it, of course. So go on for a gag. Is something it to the Ooh, still can't see it period of sustained success i could have some i could pawns could be wrong um pools maybe now that looks worse okay let's leave that for now bugs informally um it could be bugs as an in insects it could be bugs as in annoys somebody could be bugs as i suppose as in bugs bunny the cartoon character probably not that i don't know how that would have an informal name this long so probably one of the other two or something else dundee dismissal so this just means um dismissal in scotland dundee's just being used to indicate scotland as a place so there we go you could say nay um as a dismissal in scot scotland um upscale swanky there we go And bugs in for oh, crawfish? What does that mean? Uh, bugs informally. So maybe this is, 
Is there some form of crawfish that's called a bug in informal speech, or is it the other way around that there's a bug that you call a something crawfish? If it's a something crawfish, it probably starts with a C because it just feels like it's going to be alliterative to me. I don't know if that's actually true. Shay's alternative. So this, oh, a sofa maybe. So this is a sort of um, a chaise, you know, kind of lounging chair. I don't know. Okay. First name in Russian literature, Leo Tolstoy. Be that as it may. I'm not sure. Oops. Go out for. To go out for would be to audition or something. To Well, that would still be audition for. To go out for. Not sure. Head of St. Paul's Cathedral. Okay, well, St. Paul's Cathedral, at least a St. Paul's Cathedral, is here in London, and it has a grand dome. Do I think it has anything to do with that build? Oh, no. I was going to say, the head of it, you could say its architect was Christopher Wren, but Wren doesn't fit either. Is there, there's probably a different St. Paul's that I'm not thinking of. Or it could be a, it could be something totally unrelated to that, hence the question mark. I don't know. I don't know. Don't even know how to approach that clue. They're about a foot. They're about a foot. So it could be something that it could be something that's roughly a foot in length, but it also could be something that surrounds a physical foot. You know, it's about it. It's around it. Um, but I'm not sure. Oh, toes. They're about toes are sort of strewn around a foot. You could say, maybe. I'm not sure that's right, but let's try it. Nickname alternative to Kobe, perhaps. I have, I have no idea what name Kobe is a nickname for, actually. Um, so I don't know what other nicknames would fit here. Do not know. Novel with the line, Reader, I Married Him, Jane Eyre. Oops. There we go. Okay. Nickname alternative to Jace? Jake? Jacob? Jacob. Kobe. Jacob. Cub. That must be it. I never I never considered Kobe as a nickname for, for Jacob, but I bet it is. And Jake would be another nick, uh, nickname for that same name. All right. Well, there we go. Everything all right. Are you okay? It fits. I mean, it's straightforward, but it looks like it might be the answer. Let's try this one. Direct. And then here we have head of St. Paul's Cathedral. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, it is referring to St. Paul's Cathedral in London. It's just that it's not anything relevant to the cathedral itself. It's just being similar to this clue about Dundee. St. Paul's Cathedral is just being used to indicate a place in Britain, in the UK. And so it's using British English for a head, a toilet, a loo. So there we go. Okay, direct. Um, oh, not, yeah, not sure. Overly glib. If you're overly glib, oh, I know this and now I can't think what it is. Over, if you're overly glib, I keep wanting to think wan, but I don't think that's the answer. You're, um, what well, you're sort of a, you're, you're, you're a smooth talker, you're, you're glib, you're, um, oily kind of in a way almost. Might be, that might be a bit too extreme. Online lecture franchise, TEDx. You see those on YouTube all the time popping up. I don't know if it's actually the answer, but it could be the answer. It might make a cameo. Oh, here we go. So cameo as in, um, you know, piece of jewelry rather than a cameo, than a, a brief appearance in a film or something. And Onyx is a, is a gemstone that could you know, could be set into, into a cameo. Okay, maneuvers. Ploys, maybe? A ploy, a maneuver, a kind of a move. Botanical uh, stoma, e.g. Um, something to do with 
like reproductive elements of plants, right? What what is this? I'm not sure. Uh, das Blank der Deutschen, Germany's national anthem. Um, das Lied der Deutschen, the song of the Germans. So Lied is, is German for song. Direct. Overly, oh, pat. Your, your speech was pat. It was overly glib. It was kind of canned. Direct. Hmm. Go out for something to. To Sally to? I don't think that's right. To go. Oh, point blank. It was a point blank question. It was direct. It was right. I mean, physically point blank would be, you know, right there, sort of face to face. But then figuratively, as in this case, it was a direct question. It was a point blank question. There was no artifice around it. Okay. Be that as it may, yes, but go out for, apply to uh, apply to a job, to go out for a job. There we go. That's what it is. So here we have something crawfish, bugs informally. All right. How confident do I, do I think I am in my <laughs> alliterative suspicion? I think more than I was before now that it ends in a Y. This makes it seem like it's going to be a sort of jokey phrase. Crispy crawfish? I don't I have no idea if that's right. Let's just try it and see. Daring. Fade from you. Yeah, not crazy about that. Never mind. Okay, well, we'll come back to it. Um, what about this? Smart assistant. Oh, Alexa is one of those with the, I think that's the Amazon one of these. And Chez alternative. Still not sure about that one. Daring. Daring, a daring escape, a, not sure, go all in for a gag. Cousin of a machete, so some kind of knife, a, I don't really know very many knife names. I assume that's what this is going to be. Policy in a restaurant that pays a living wage Perhaps no tip, right? You do sometimes um, see no tip restaurants because they pay their workers um, commensurate, which I think is a better overall strategy. Um, Chez alternative. Oh, if if this were a C, this could be bank. This is some kind of um, fancy, also sort of fancy lounging furniture. Um, so I think that might be what we're looking for here. Does that help me with this then? Cousin of a machete. Not really. Blade doesn't fit, obviously. And that wouldn't be, that's not a cousin. That would be the category of thing a machete is. Is there some other, I wonder if the machete has another meaning. I mean, it, it may well do, but I, I don't know. Okay. Um, fade from use. This is a tricky puzzle for me. It's just, for whatever reason, I'm not sailing through this, am I? Neighborhood character. Neighborhood character. In reserve. Oh, on ice? Something's, something, something's kept in reserve. It's kept on ice until we're, we're ready to use it. That could be the answer. Basilica site. Still not sure about that one. What, what would you, maybe, could be... In re the inscription on the crucifix that means king of the Jews. That would be a bit odd way to clue that, I think, basilica site. I think it, it would be strange for that to be words rather than an object or a place or something like that. But it could, I mean, it's possible. High point, nape or high point, question mark. What is the pun doing here? High point. Maybe someone's pointing up and saying, no, no, not saying anything. High point. High. 
high noon. That's a point in time, I suppose. I'm not sure. Have I looked at the? Oh no, I have looked at this. What is this neighborhood character? Stealth something doesn't make any sense. Not going to be the answer. Oh, local neighborhood, local. Um. Okay, I'm not sure, but I bet this part is right. Oh, Meredith. Unfortunately, I don't know this person's name. I mean, Olga would fit in four letters. Does that does that work with this? Fade from you from use. Go absent. No, go. Fade from use to go obsolete. There we go. That's what it is, as in a device. Okay, so this probably is Olga. Oh, that means this isn't Ordo Mundi. Okay, I wasn't completely certain about that anyway. So high point those. Oh, Anno Mundi. I don't actually know what this refers to. World world year. I don't I'm not sure. Okay, Basilica site. Icon. Oh, icon, right. Okay, you see a religious icon in the basilica. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Uh in the end. So okay, so neighbor neighborhood character, local local legend, local hero, local uh go all in for a gag. I don't know why this is so elusive to me. Daring. Toxic doesn't make any sense. Daring. Oh, moxie. It's a noun. It's not an adjective. You've got moxie. You've got daring. That's what it is. I'm fairly confident of that. Oh, commit to the bit. That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought the words were going to be distributed differently, but nope, this is the answer. To go all in for a gag is to commit to the bit that you're that you're performing. Okay, bugs informally. Oh, creepy, creepy crawfish. Okay, is that what it is? Creepy, not creepy crawlers. Do I have this whole thing wrong? Captain Rossbach of Reality TV's Below Deck. Maybe it is creepy. Oh, it's it's creepy crawlies. That's what it is. This is Lee Rossbach Below Deck. I've never heard of this, but that must be the answer. Okay, that was that was a silly early assumption was wrong. Neighborhood character is local color. There you go. You could say, oh, you know, he's he's always hanging around here. He's part of the local color. So Bolo is a cousin of Machete. I don't quite understand why that is. They seem like very different kinds of weapons to me, but I'm sure there is a perfectly sensible reason why this makes sense. And it's just my lack of context that makes it seem as though it doesn't. Breeding spots for mayflies and dragonflies could still be pools or ponds or something else, I suppose. Period of sustained success, a not bad something, a a banner year. There we go. That's what it is. You could say it was a banner year. It was a great time in my life. Helter Skelter. Uh, this is going to be pawns then, isn't it? Okay. So indiscriminate. In, uh, indiscreet? You did something in an indiscreet manner, in a, in a Helter Skelter manner? Not sure that that seems perfect. Motivational word, raw. Okay, it's not that, which I thought seemed a bit strange. Uh, in disarray, that's much better. Everything was helter skelter, it was in disarray. Okay, there we go. Bird that makes the longest migration in the animal kingdom. Oh, that's interesting. Turn? I don't I don't think that, that doesn't sound right to me. Um, blank ceremony, tradition in Sephardic weddings. Tradition in Sephardic weddings. Do I know anything about Sephardic weddings? I mean, when I just saw blank ceremony, my first thought was henna. Henna as in the, um, uh, you know, sort of um, decorative kind of tattooing. Um, I don't know if that's associated with Sephardism. Let's see. Bird that makes the longest migration. Okay, there could be an N. Let's try it because I, that was my first instinct here. Indian restaurant side. Oh, side of non. There we go. Okay, the bread. Okay, I think this is going to be the answer. Blank Stark, role on Game of Thrones. I've never seen Game of Thrones, but I've I've heard of Arya as a character from it in some form. So I bet that is the answer. And what 
sends forth his fiery breathings from the broken flues per vigil. Well, that would be Mount Etna, the, uh, the volcano. So it is a turn. Oh, that is surprising to me. I never would have, I would, I was, I would not have guessed that a turn was, would be the longest migration in the entire animal kingdom. That's actually astonishing and makes me want to look that up and read about it. Okay. Well, that's it. That was a tricky Friday puzzle. I mean, I can't say anything about it was, was particularly unfair or, um, uh, or, you know, out of place, but it was, I just found it tricky. <laughs> it's a tricky puzzle. Felt to me more like a Saturday. Um, but we had some, we had, did have some classic uh, Friday sort of sneaky misdirection, daring. I mean, I really thought this was going to be an adjective. Um, it really just felt that way. I mean, head of St. Paul's Cathedral is very clever, um, even though it's obviously signposted with the question mark, it still led me astray for a while. Um, and then, you you know, you get these very vague, this isn't misdirection per se, it's just that the word check could mean any number of things. It means lots of different things. So it's hard to know which one it means until you have at least one or two crosses. Um, yeah, just some good, some good solid cluing, quite a lot of trickiness and just some interesting knowledge. I mean, bird that makes the longest migration in the animal kingdom, telescope named for the second administrator of NASA, um, some literary references. I mean, um, yeah, a very nice wide ranging crossword and one that gave me quite a challenge. How did you fare with this one? Let me know in the comments or the, uh, the discord server. I'm always curious, but there we have it. That was the Friday crossword. I'll be back tomorrow with the Saturday New York Times crossword, the second of two themeless crosswords for the week. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm-hmm.